What is up, YouTube? You Woo! Mr. King live in the classroom today. That's right, I'm all dolled up. Pause the video now and answer the questions. Some review from last week right here. That might be a little tricky. I'll give you a hint. Both of these pictures, all the elements have eight. They're all satisfied. This chlorine does have eight, and so does this chlorine. This oxygen has eight, and this one has eight. So try and do the math. How many electrons are in this bond then, and how many electrons are in these bonds? Okay. Today you're gonna learn how to diagram covalent bonds using Lewis dot structures. And it will be difficult, but this is one of my favorite parts of chemistry because I love to draw. And you will feel very accomplished once you get it. First part, I really recommend, highly recommend that you watch this video. This person sadly does a way better job at explaining how to do Lewis di diagrams better than me. So please give the video a try. They simplify Lewis structures into five steps. Five steps and the fifth one you don't always need to do. I'm going to do my best to show you how to do it. And remember, covalent bonds, they're all about nonmetals. So you're really going to focus on these elements here. The ones, the neon, the heliums, your argons, all of your noble gases, these are all full already. They all have full orbitals, so they aren't very reactive. So we're going to focus on all the nonmetals that want to have a full octet. So all the ones in blue, but they aren't the noble gases right here. So the first one, we're gonna start with a more difficult molecule. We're gonna start with carbon dioxide. Yes, the gas that's been poisoning our lungs and our air and making the earth hotter. That's carbon dioxide. So the first step, step one, use the periodic table to determine how many valence electrons each atom has and add them all together. So remember, the PR table, it shows you how many valence electrons are in each column. So this one has one, one valence electron, and two, and this column has three, this column has four, five, six, seven, and then the last column is eight. You skip the transition metals. So remember column, carbon is in this column, number four. So that means carbon, has four valence electrons. Oxygen is two to the right of it. So carbon's right here, it has four, this one has five, this one has six. So that means oxygen has six valence electrons. And there's two, because there's a two after the O. So that means carbon has one, and then oxygen, there's two of them. So that means oxygen is contributing six times two, or 12 valence electrons. So you take the 12 from the oxygens and then the four from carbon. So that means there's going to be 16 total. It's going to be a total of 16. Step two, now that we know how many valence electrons there's going to be, step two, put the central atom in the middle. The central atom is the one that there's only one of. So there's only one carbon, there's two oxygens. So you can put the carbon in the center. Like that. So that is step two. Our carbon is nice and in the center. Next step, draw in single bonds from the central atom, the carbon, to the remaining atom. So I'm going to grab the single bond and I'll put it in between the carbon and the oxygen here, the carbon and the oxygen here. Okay. So right now this carbon is attached. It's sharing two electrons right here and two electrons with this one. So we've only used four of our 16 valence electrons. So that means we take 16 total minus the four that we've used. So we have 12 valence electrons left. And then step four, put the remaining electrons as lone pairs. So we have 12 left. So oxygen, we're gonna give it 12. So that's two, and remember, we put these all in twos. The goal here is to get them all to have an octet. 
So we're going to make sure that oxygen has an octet here or a total of eight. And we can put it either on the carbon or the oxygen. The goal here is to get an octet for all of them. So I'll try and put them on the oxygen first and see what happens. Okay. So right now, I have used the four advanced electrons and bonds. And then there's 10. If you count the one on the left. And now there's going to be 16 if you include all of the lone pairs and all of the bonds. So there's 12 lone pairs. Twelve electrons from lone pairs and four from bonds. But there's a problem. So we did use all the electrons, yes. But oxygen is happy, but the carbon is not happy. Carbon does not have its full octet. It does not have its eight valence electrons that it needs. So what you're going to do, these lone pairs from the oxygen, they need to be shared. So you'll hypothetically move the electrons here. But what that's going to look like, that's the same thing as making a double bond. So the, the oxygen is going to give up two more lone pairs and share them with carbon. And the same thing is going to happen here. I'm going to use these lone pairs and make a double bond. And it will really look like this. So now let's double check our work. We need to make sure that we used 16 valence electrons. And we need to make sure that they all have their octet, their eight. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Good. We used them all. And oxygen has two, four, six, eight. Carbon has two, four, six, eight. And then oxygen has two, four, six, and eight. That means we drew it right. They were all used, and all of them are happy with their octet. Okay. Now, pause the video now and try and do water yourself. Try and do water yourself. I'll go over the answer in a bit. Step one, use the power table to determine how many valence electrons hydrogen has. Hydrogen is in the first column. Remember, hydrogen is the exception to the rule. Hydrogen wants to be a noble gas, but hydrogen will only need two valence electrons. Hydrogen is the one exception that you need to know right now. Hydrogen only needs two. It doesn't need eight, it needs two. That will come up later. So H has one valence electron. There's two H's, so that means two for H's total. The oxygen, as you know, has six. So if you add them all together, the H's and the O's, that means eight valence electrons total. That's how many we're gonna use for water. Okay? Now we're going to follow it step by step. First step, what is the central atom? Which atom is there one of? Is it the oxygen or the hydrogen? And then draw the central atom in the middle. You can just drag the H or the O, whichever one you think, in between. And it should look something like step three. So you should have noticed that oxygen is the central atom because there's only one oxygen. And there's two hydrogens. So O will go in between the two H's. And then next, draw in single bonds from the central atom to the remaining atoms. Let's take these bonds and drag them from the O to the H's. Okay. Like this. Draw lone pairs, two dots, for all remaining atoms that need eight. Here is a part that a lot of people messed up on. So right now, remember, H only needs two. And H right now, it has two. It has two that are shared in this bond. So H has two, and this H has two. So both of these H's are happy. Oxygen wants eight. So remember, water has eight valence electrons, and we've used four. We used two here and two here. So that leaves four left. And those four 
are going to be in lone pairs. So we'll put a lone pair on top. Like this. So now we view six. Then we'll put another lone pair on the bottom. Now the oxygen has eight. And we used four electrons in lone pairs and four in bonds. So if we used all the eight, and the H's have both have two, and the oxygen has eight, so we are all good. We did it right. Now try and do the rest yourself. Okay? Sulfur dioxide will be a little tricky. I'm going to warn you right now. Just remember, whenever you're done, make sure that you got the number of valence electrons right and you use them all. And that all of the elements except for hydrogen have eight valence electrons at the end. That's my hint to finish these. Last thing before you go, please take the attendance survey. And let me know how did you like the lesson? How could it be better? After you do that, you're all good. Thank you so much, everyone, for sticking with me the whole time. Bye.